Happy New Year, Capricorns. Happy New Year. Alrighty, Capricorns. Let's see what is happening. Um, so far, you Capricorns, um, this is a good, good reading that is coming up in transpiring. Wonderful alignment of energy. Um, success. Um, money is coming in and returning. Um, ace of emotion, a lot of money is going to be returning to you. You're ending this year with the energy of the nine of pentacles. Your wishes and dream is coming through. Wow. Wow, Capricorn. Wow. Unbelievable, Capricorns. Unbelievable. Look, whoops, Daisy. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a message for um someone out there. Oops, Daisy. Um, so Capricorns, before I move, um, some card fell off. The tree of emotion, you're going to be successful over a situation that is transpiring. Um, yep, you're going to be a successful and uh, um over the mouse successful over some sort of an emotional situation with a capric with a cancer and then we have um the six of voice at end for um a um aries leo or sagittarian and uh, the hardship is going to be over wow so it's a message for someone the cards fell out the three of cups uh, um that has to do with a cancer um whether man or woman this is coming up as a cancer man the mouse and the six of voice at end is coming up for this man um no more um work or whatever that this person was doing is going to be ending um the fastness of the eight of one so whatever this person was doing is going to be ending the hardship you were in is going to be over so I don't know who is dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion man. You're going to be successful over this person. And a hand is coming up. And if this person was selling or communicating or giving information, they're bringing an end to it. And your hardship is going to be over. So congratulations. Congratulations to you, Capricorn. All right. This year, Capricorn, is a um, transition with your friends debt to the six of emotion so some of you could be dealing with a scorpion some sort of a situation with a scorpion is going to be coming to an end um debt to um friendship so some sort of a friendship also could be coming to an end um debt to um some sort of a destructive person um debt to a fire sign person this fire sign person is an aries you're going to be victoriously successful overcoming this person whatever this person have done they have found out and i see an end is coming up to this person so end of friendships could be coming up in this year or transition in friendship now the seven of emotion there's a lot this year is going to be a very emotional year um for you guys some sort of information is going to be coming out about um your friends and this could be emotional and it has to do with a lot of money but you're going to your wishes and dream is going to be coming true capricorn is a is a powerful year some transition and end of friendship or changes in friendship is going to be coming up. So, so, so Capricorn. So when the energy of death comes up, it's always transition, transition. But I see a young fire sign person. You stood your ground um, to a young fire sign person. Whoever this young fire sign person is, have created some sort of an issue and problem for you. And I see you stood your ground and you took down this young fire sign person. And uh, um, this is going to be happening in uh, 
um, February, March, because they're going to be finding out the destructiveness of a young fire sign person. Money is going to be returned to you and you're ending this year, especially women 50 years and older, you're ending this year. Um, your wishes and dream is going to be coming through. So 2021 Capricorns get ready because trust me, you will have so much powerful energies to work with that you're going to be surprised. Okay. Um, emotion. It's going to be a very emotional year. They have found out uh, that was the seven of voice. They have found out uh, some sort of a deceptive play that friends had carry out. Uh, and I see you are going to be successfully over coming and I see multiple opportunities, doors of opportunities is going to be open for you. Um, Capricorns It's a more of a greenish blue year where coming in the year is like fire power, using your fire, your power transition. Um, they're going to be finding out uh, that this young fire sign person has stolen a lot from you and they're going to be returning it to you. So it's like coming in with power, showing up this fire sign person and, and said, listen, now it's time you get out of my way. This is 2021. I don't need to deal with you. And whatever is transpired in the month of May, you're taking down this fire sign person and saying, now back up. And this is an end for you. I am bringing an end to you. And you are going to be so powerful. Um, women 50 years and older, this is your year. This is your year that you're bringing, you're using Saturn energy uh, to bring back stability. You're, you're beginning with Saturn, you're ending with Jupiter. Okay. And the Ten of Pentacles is about money that was stolen is going to be returned to you. And an apology is going to be coming in. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely powerful. So let's look at the beginning of the year. Um, we see you ladies standing up straight. You're not in the reverse. You're standing up and looking forward. And you're ending the year with your wishes and dreams being fulfilled. And, you know, say thanks to the universe, ladies and gentlemen, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, I don't see the energy of the men um, 50 years and older. I don't see the young people, but you ladies are standing in your truth and standing in your power and showing up who you are. And people need to understand that you bring back discipline in cooperation in institution and you're taking your brain and you're moving forward and you can see that especially you women 50 years and older is going to be moving with so much power that people are going to be standing back and say damn we tried to take her down it didn't happen okay so let's look in the crowning of your year. The crowning of your year in the month of July, some sort of a deceptive play that has transpired is going to come to an end. They are taking down the energy of the devil. So if you notice, um, the devil, um, whatever this person has done in the month of March, they're going to be finding out and ending it in May. And it's taking down the group of deceptive friends and people that was working against you, Cancer. Because this devil energy comes up uh, in the month of uh, um, March. And you are going to be successful because uh, you are leaving the month of June. The first half year being very, very successful. So you're going to be showing up uh, that this fire sign person tried to steal your um, materialistic wealth and I see they're going to be taking down this person then when we um, look at your base and foundation this is good um, these are good energy um, standing up straight you are victoriously successfully over um, some sort of a negative forces that was affecting your life you have taken down these group of people or these situation and you are victoriously successful the three of uh, Pentacles is about being victorious um, over an issue and a situation that was transpired where people were trying to raid on your parade and you're like, I have enough of you people. So when the um, coll collaboration of souls is going to be coming in, um, so this year is a year where you're going to be collaborating with soulmate and soul family. 
So your soulmate and soul family is going to be coming in in order to help you on your journey. And it's going to be all opening up multiple doors of opportunities for you. So the three of pentacles is the magic of collaboration, sisterhood, brotherhood, teamwork, group and um, um relationships, responsibility, mentoring, students, getting along, helping one another, coming together for a common goal, cooperation and a future energy so this is wonderful and transparent in your foundation when you have such an energy in your foundation that is only telling you what a powerful year you're going to be having then when we look at the energy of the seven of emotion it's about daydreaming about the future choices and manifesting the rank that you're going to be moving up the ladder, the alignments of value, illusionation, and um, a fantasy, having many co um, opportunities and seeing which one are real and which ones are not real. So this is about uh, um, cooperating and choosing choices uh, um, to create your own reality, and this is going to be good. Now, it is a very long time um, that you um, Capricorns have received the end of debt and transformation, but it's ending some sort of a situation you were going in. So the debt and transformation has to do with some sort of an emotional situation a lot of you Capricorns were going through. So there's going to be a rebirth for some of you and a regeneration of the men of forces. So you're changing skin, you're changing who you are, you're, you know, getting out of uh, um, a caterpillar and becoming a beautiful butterfly. And no one can stop you, Capricorns. The death of the relationship or the idea, endings, letting go, things are no longer needed making sure you're not holding on to the old ground dreams and old wishes new opportunities so it is a ritual of the passage where you're changing from the caterpillar and the butterfly and it is going to be so powerful you're going to be leaving people situation and emotional situation that was holding you back and uh, having forgiveness for friends and letting go the six of voices, the six of emotions, it's about leaving friends behind who no longer serves um, the, the, the decision, the part that you're moving forward in. is as if these people you have all grown, okay? So the six of emotional is about nostalgia, past memories, people showing up from the past, coming back to you, whole love showing up, time to reach out to those you were once close to. Beautiful reminder of how far you have come, connecting with your inner child and your future self. So it's going to be a really sophisticated year for you guys. It's about you changing, okay? It's about you um, creating um, new stabilities, creating new people, connecting with your own soul family, and really connecting in a very, very positive way. And this is going to be changing the way that you Capricorn is going to be looking at life and changing um, how, how you look, the outlook at life. But you're going to be changing um, from the ugly duckling to a beautiful um, um, princess. So enjoy. Um, let's look at... Uh, um, what is happening? What are the good months for you and the powerful months? So, um, the, the major arcana is in March. March is when you are going to be, um, dealing with the devil and taking down, um, some group of people and taking back your power. So you're ending a situation with someone who was creating havoc in your life. You are overcoming this and ending it and moving forward, okay? I see a transition for a fire sign person between the age of 18 and 45. People are realizing the destruction that this person had created in your world and you're ending it in the month of May. And the other good, um, powerful arcana is the empress. So I see a lot of you, your mom is going to be protecting you and is going to be showing 
up destructive people. So the energy of the Empress is like a mother figure. And a lot of you are going to become the mothers of your soul family. The person that they is going to be reaching out. I see a lot of people are going to be um, reaching out to you for help and for support. And you're going to be playing the role of the mother. And through that, that's where your materialistic stability is going to be coming in. Then um, the other major uh, corner that um, is debt. And that is coming up in May. An ending, a transition is coming up in May. And that is where you're ending some sort of a situation that has been happening and transpiring. Taking down and showing up people and situation. Being victorious in a um, and then some sort of a situation collaboration that people were working against you. So you have two, three major arcana. You're dealing with a lot of issues and a lot of situation, but you're coming out of this year with your wishes and your dreams intact and is going to be creating a lot of stability for yourself. So, um, the occurring energies of what is transpiring, hmm, 13 is four, seven, they're seeing the, the, the deceptiveness, the shadow side of friends and people, um, emotional, there's a lot of emotional situation. Number three, your body, mind, and soul is going to be a year where you're, you're you're going to be collaborating and your soul family, spirit family is going to be helping you um, through this year to resolve a whole lot of uh, in the situation that was transpiring. And you're going to be taking your reign back as you leave 2021. So congratulations to you, Capricorns. Let's go in the reading. So in the month of January, I see you ladies standing your ground and taking back your power. You're like, listen, don't try to walk over me or pretend as if I'm not here. I am here. I see you ladies, especially um, business ladies, is going to be taking down some sort of a deceptive uh, um corporation or people, a fire sign person, and it's going to say, listen, I'm here and I'm not dead. Don't you ever, ever try to, um, you know, create these sort of issues in my world. And I see you Capricorns are really, really, really going to be creating some sort of a situation and making sure that people understand, you know, I am not here um, to back down from anything that is coming. And I see you're standing your ground in the month of January. And I see you lady is putting your flowers in your hair and said, listen to me. I've gone through a lot, but I'm still here and I'm standing strong. And you better know that I'll be here for a very long time. So I see you women are really showing up for yourself and you women are really understanding because you have gone through so much. You have gone through so much and you're really showing up for yourself and this is so powerful. The month of February, I see things is going to be moving very fast and whatever is transpiring, you're moving and you're ending um, and healing some sort of an emotional imbalance that you have. And you're dealing with a fire sign person in the month of uh, um, February, but you're overcoming this person because you're taking back your power from this person, whoever this person is and whatever they thought they were going to be doing and get away from it. You're ending it. You're ending it. You're saying, listen, this is going to be over. So be aware of this. So, so it's a fire sign energy that you're dealing with, but it's about you moving forward and, uh, um, it's as if all of the blockages or and doors are open and February you're taking off as if you have never taken off. This is the first time you feel free. Freedom in February. And this is just so going to be um powerful. In the month of March, you're dealing with some sort of an issue, but not to worry because this issue and this person who was creating some sort of a problem 
an end is coming to this person. So there was some sort of a negative energy um, that is coming up that you're going to be dealing in March. People are trying to pull you on a string and pull you as a puppet. And you're like, uh -uh, it's not happening. And I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming this negative forces that was creating a whole lot of issues in your world, Capricorns. You're going to be like, mm -mm, it's not happening. Now is where I'm ending this. So it is powerful. So go listen to um, the um, first quarter, January, February, and March. You see that you Capricorns are going to be standing your ground, taking back your power, overcoming a real deceptive fire sign person between the ages of 18 and 45. And uh, their horrible deceptiveness and ways and what they have done. You stood your ground and you're moving forward in a powerful way. So the first quarter is really fast. It's going to go fast, Capricorns, whatever is happening and transpiring. This first quarter is going to be going so fast that you're going to be, whoa, okay? Alrighty. Um, it's like speed picked up for you, um, Capricorns. Another wonderful month is going to be the month of April. April is going to be a really fantastic month. A lot of you could be um, pregnant or having a baby. A lot of you could find yourself pregnant, but financially April is looking very, very good. So whatever the issues, the problems, the situation that was going on in April, this is going to be a really fantastic because you are going to be recapping and uh, regaining your financial stability in the month of April. So this is looks good. April is your best month. When we look at May, May is where you becomes that beautiful person, that beautiful man or woman. You are leaving your cocoon and you're flying. If you notice how beautiful this um, energy is, it's breaking out of the cocoon and you become that beautiful butterfly and you are flying. You are taking on the world, um, unexpectedly taking on the world in a speed and is really um, realizing what it is you came to this planet for and is making sure that you're creating this and you are going to be getting some sort of a fire energy to move you forward. Whatever emotion, I see new opportunities that is going to be making money is going to be coming up. Then the month of June. Wow. One of your best months again. So April and June is going to be absolutely fab, fab, fab. April and June and in the month of May is when finally you're going to be getting rid of that deceptive person that has created a whole lot of issues for you. Finally, the debt to the devil. Finally, the debt to the deceptiveness. Uh, um, where people have been caught and truth is going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out what these people have been doing, how they have worked against you. So June is going to be absolutely fab, fab, fab. January, April and June is going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, the first six months is going to be fast, fast. You're going to be moving fast. You're going to be uh, unbelievable. You're going to be realizing how fast things are going and you are going to be there's so much speed, fastness that is coming in and transpiring. Then when we, we go to the second half of the year um, and look in, um, what we're seeing is that in a month of uh, uh, July is going to be an air energy and it's going to be some sort of a deceptiveness that was created with your materialistic stability. People are going to be finding this out. Um, water in the month of August and also in the month of September. But the, 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 the energy in the month of September is going to be good emotional energy. So when we look at July, July, you are going to be, um, clipping, um, something in the bot in July, you're going to be saying, no, 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 uh, no, <laughs> some sort of a deceptiveness is going to be coming out and you're going to be finding it, bam, and clip it right there. Uh, it's not going to go any further and end in whatever these people were doing. So this is going to be absolutely fabulous because what is happening and what is transpiring is that you found out of some sort of a deceptiveness in July and you're clipping it right there. And it has to do with friends. Okay, friends, and I see 
it's, it's it's a sort of a jealous situation and they were trying to do something and get away and you're like mm, no it's not happening so that is good then we realize and um issues that is going to be coming up in the month of august and it has to do with in august uh, transition with your friendship and this transition is that you're going to be either um you know becoming someone else's as someone else and choosing for healthy relationship and friendship. So I see new friends could be coming in that want to collaborate with you. Um, really, um, people are coming in and showing up because they want to be connected with you in some sort of a way. So expect that in the month of August. What is also going to be coming in in the month of August is that you're going to be seeing a boom in your materialistic uh, um, in your inflow of uh, um, financial wealth in the month of August also. And it's as if soul family is going to be connecting with you and is creating wealth and abundance for you. As we move to the energy of uh, September, um, positive emotion. Um, September is going to bring you new doors of opportunities if you notice the goldfish it is uh, whenever um there is goldfish um it has to do with materialistic wealth and stability okay so a lot of opportunities is going to be coming in in the month of september that is going to be bringing you a lot of wealth and uh, um whatever comes in in the month of september is going to be bringing you a whole lot of wealth and stability and it's going to be moving you in such a powerful way, um, uh, taking you out of this year. So as September, September is going to be another good month uh, where multiple opportunities is going to be coming in. In order to know what is coming up with all of these months, um, join the channel and you go for the third subscription. There you will find out uh, um, the extended of, of these readings. Okay. Then we are looking, we, so this third quarter is where you're knipping some sort of a deceptiveness in the month of July in the bot and said, no, 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 no. That's not all it's going to be happening. Um, so you're finding out and you're knipping something that has to do with friends so, or someone that is going to be coming in pretending as a friend, but you saw it directly. So you didn't, um, let this thing go any further. Okay. Let's look at the last and uh, the last and fourth quarter of the year 2021 for you Capricorns. New love is going to be coming in in the month of October. So um, in the month of October, new love is going to be coming in. But someone from the past is coming back that has done you some injustice. This person is only coming back because uh, they run out of money or they need some sort of a financial stability. So be aware of this. But it is a month. October is going to be a month of new love that is coming in. Um, some of you could be um, um, connecting with friends. Um, this could work out for you. Some of you is going to be meeting the love of your life in the month of October. Be aware of this. Okay. So October is good. It's a month of love. It's as if the new universe is going to be bringing in the man or woman of your dreams. Um, so this is going to be powerful. November is a month where materialistic wealth, financial stability, money, whatever you start in September, whatever this was, there was this new, um, influx of, uh, um, opportunities. Um, this is going to be, you're going to be seeing the money that is coming at you. November is going to be, um, where a whole lot of materialistic stability is going to be coming in your world. This is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Um, because you're going to be ending the month of December, 2021 in a yeah, your wishes and dream is going to be coming true. You are going to be so happy. Um, this hair is not as rough as last year. This hair is a little bit milder for some of you that has been going through a whole lot of hardship in 2020. This year is a little bit milder for you. And when you come to September, um, from September, October, November, and December is going to be fab, fab, and fabulous, darlings. 
So the most difficult months is going to be March, May, and uh, especially July. March, May, or especially July, where you find out some sort of a deceptive play, some sort of a two-faced uh, shadow deceptiveness. So the month of July, you got to look out for month of July is where you're going to be meeting and seeing the shadow side of someone else and how this person is only out for materialistic well so march may and july is bad but when we look at january april june um august and september october november and december is as if you have gone through and have cleared up your um karmas and you're coming through um february you're going to be moving through and it's going to be creating your own world and your own um uh, castle and you're not building this castle in the sky you are starting from the ground and building up and you're going to be powerful but in a very positive way wow capricorns this is absolutely absolutely fabulous leave your message let me know um how you feel about this reading because this is so powerful you're ending the year with a nine of pen and the nine of uh um, um, cups, which is your wishes and dream come true. Whatever you start out in this year, you're ending this year with a powerful happy note. Um, whoever decide to start any business in this year, it's going to be a yes. Now I'm worried about the men. Um, um, but yeah, it is, um, who you are as a man and how you create uh, your world. And that is what is going to be affecting you in the year of 2021 i gotta go i love you guys please remember to share 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 these reading please thumbs up like and share these reading i gotta go transition is coming up with a, scor a, scor a scorpion in your world if you were in a relationship with a scorpion some sort of a transition is going to be coming up for the scorpion if you are in a relationship with this person transition could be coming up i gotta go namaste until next time